fancy way. It's more like, Arr? like why? Why are you first picking Varus when Jin is available? Yes, I know HK didn't pick it because they valued the Shin above. Impressive uh, change from him. <laughs> Normally he would flash the other way. Spicy this time round. Chani's gonna get rooted in place. Nuclear going very aggressive. The Classic classic Chani. Man, I love nuclear. that man. I love him. I have no flash. I don't care. <laughs> Definitely lost that one. Yankos is gonna leap in. Cabo shot. Pillar of Ice does nothing. H2 kills. Sands are sitting at home, kind of clapping, be like, yeah, that's what we wanted. Botlane gang. Wow, there's the flash engage. Chase in trouble. Stand United though, keeping him alive just long enough to flash away. It's H2K the kill Hachani. Now Yankos, void assaults forward. Very big shield coming up from good as far as the stats are concerned. Yeah, we get to see a dragon fight here, Trevor. Yeah, dragon fight indeed. Yankos going to get taken down by this Infernal Drake. Not yet. Strangle thoughts from Che, and Yankos survives. How does Hachani always do well? They definitely are with their winning lanes, winning side lanes, which stay still back. Oh, my word. The Chaos Storm in Yankos. Stand United delivers Oda Wamne to the front line. Nuketax over on the side. Hachani takes a ride out. Gets a silence and a nethergrass. Choco still tanking for days. He's already used redemption. That's the big shield from the trigger seat. Alright, page 2 k Looking for the dragon as Odo. That's a combo. Yeah, Odo sacrifices his life for this one. Well, sacrifice is a strong word. Odo is the victim for the dragon. They're trying to rush it down with Daisy because Yankos was. Spotted down near the dragon. There goes Daisy. Chain of Corruption is going to start to spread. Odo's on the front line, locked down. But it's Che that gets caught with Nethergrass. Che's able to flash away. Stranglethorns is going to buy some time. Daisy still alive. Redemption buys a couple seconds. And Nuclear with the Mystic Shot gets the kill. Stand United on Yankos's back. Yankos flashes over the wall, leaves Soto Omne behind. Round warp still available for Nuketech, gonna get needed. Steelback snipes one down. Piercing arrow across H2K's broadside. Steelback still alive. The shield survives for a few seconds longer. This is a fight on a million fronts. Nuketech with a double on the back end. Three for three. Let's see, Nuclear order I'm there. That's an ulti from uh, Rise. It's a bait though. It is a bait. Nuclear trying to at least clear this wave. He's got a vamp scepter for HP. Disappointed Prolly. In the bottom of your screen, Odo and Nuclear. They're looking for Nuke Duck. No, they turn. It's Choke of the target. Mystic shot. Rune prison. Nuclear arcane shift. But the shield explodes. Nuke Duck and Choco ace H2K. So in the end, Vitality win the fight because of Nuke Duck. But damn, that was that was a tough start because Achani ulted Che instead of that Shen. We talked about the combo, Trevor. They could have killed Odana so easily. Baron will go down though, and it doesn't matter because this is the year of Nuke Duck. I had to say it, Trevor. Just for the Four, just for the fun. Come on, he's playing zero well. He's playing well. He's playing Exceptional well. Exceptional performance. Nuke Duck and Vitality have Baron at the back. Then the rest of my team are gonna hit the inhib. We don't care about Israel, we don't care about Victor, we're never gonna let them fight. Yangus is trying now. He is indeed gonna deliver Odo Wamne. It's a decent taunt, but it's not enough yet. Odo Thank this you. time gets locked down. Hachani's figured it out. It's Nuke Duck that's unstoppable. His fifth kill of the game. Inhibitor in the mid lane is destroyed, and H2K are running with their tails between their legs. Vitality getting everything at the moment. Two inhibs going down. 10,000 goal lead. And H2K. Can have all the damage they want from the back line. The back line can never get to deal the damage. No, it cannot. There's no tower to worry about in the top lane. H2K, 25 seconds in a four on five. The inhibitor being chunked down. Steelback running out of mana. They've got to be careful in their gigantic shield on Nukeduck from that Sarah. Understanding the weaknesses of H2K's team comp is what's allowed Vitality to I mean, now sure. start on the Nexus. According to that, definitely fair. But tells you a thing actually will feel like it's been a fairly easy game to play. Yes, looks like it. It's a good taunt into Nuke Duck, but he's able to escape with his life. So, so much damage in Odo Wamne. Nether Grass onto Febivan. Febivan gets dropped down before he can even use the Chaos Storm. Odo Wamne is killed as well. Super Minions, the army is flooding into H2K's base. The Nexus is now the target. Nuclear gets knocked aside by the Pillar of Ice. And it simply does not matter. Hachani will die as Vitality pick up game one against H2K.